Hello and welcome to FourCornersTV.com. I'm Laura Schweizer and this is the Local Roundup. What we've seen in the way of snow here in Durango and other relatively low-lying areas is what we'll see for the next couple days. Or at least that's what the weather gurus at the National Weather Service in Grand Junction say. A lot of snow, one to two feet, is forecast for higher elevations, but it'll be measured in inches in La Plata County. The remainder of February and March still offer the possibility of bringing the snowpack back to average at least. The weather isn't an issue for pot growers, but La Plata County regulations are. No word on weed yet. La Plata County Commissioners Tuesday delayed approving new land use regulations for growers of recreational marijuana. There is broad agreement, however, that cultivators of medical marijuana can enter the recreational field. The matter returns to the board next Tuesday. But confusion continues when it comes to construction. The bridge to nowhere has now turned into the bridge to debt. New cost estimates went from $6.4 million to, brace yourself, $8.5 million. The proposal to Wilson Gulch Drive, also known as the bridge to nowhere, includes both an extension to the road and an intersection. Grant money from CDOT will either further the project or not. This project may be going nowhere, but students at Dolores High School are on the road to success. Congratulations, Dolores High. Almost 90% of the class of 2013 graduated on time, which is an improvement from 2012. So keep on those studies, students. You'll be glad you did. And changes are coming to Utah's national parks. It used to be just like the Tom Petty song, Free Falling, when jumping at Arches National Park. But now they're enforcing a new management plan for climbing and canyoneering. So fewer climbs and no jumps. It's part of a regulation to stop trampled vegetation, grooves in the rocks, and to keep the area clean. The park will also be able to monitor user numbers and locations. And winter sports and the Olympics aren't news to us in the Four Corners, but what about the location? We hit the streets to find out what Durangoans think about Sochi. I would have to get back to you on that after the Olympics. <laughs> um, the venue yeah. disturbs me a little bit because of what's going on in, in that area, you know, terrorism and everything else. Um, I think of big dudes when I think of Russia. Big dudes? The mountain men here in Durango could take them. Thanks for watching The Local Roundup. I'm Laura Schweizer with FourCornersTV.com. We'll see you tomorrow.